Hello students, hope you are doing good. So in this lecture, we will be discussing the concepts of copy constructor in C++. So in our earlier lectures, we have discussed the concepts of default constructor, okay, default and parameterized we have discussed, okay. So kindly go through the lectures, okay, in the playlist and you will just get to know about these two constructors. So starting with the copy constructor, it is a member function. It is a member function that is used, okay, that is used to initialize, to initialize an object, okay, that is used to initialize an object using another object using another object so this another object is the existing object existing object of the same class so this condition is very important that both the objects belongs to the same class this is very important okay so as we have discussed in the default constructor that if okay we are not creating any constructor in our class then the compiler creates a default constructor in the same way if we are not creating any constructor in our class then the compiler is also going to okay, implicitly create a constructor that is known as a copy constructor so a copy constructor okay is also invoked okay by the compiler by the compiler implicitly implicitly okay so it means that if we are not creating any copy constructor in our class then the compiler will invoke the the default copy constructor okay so in C++ there are two types of default calls okay first is the default okay constructor that is being implicitly called by the compiler and second is the default okay copy constructor okay so both these constructors okay are present in our program so if we are not writing any code okay for our constructor then the compiler will automatically okay write the code for that particular constructor so we'll see it with the help of an example okay so if i just create okay if i just create a class for example i just write class okay and i just write let us suppose cop is the name given to this class inside this class i just create two variables of type integer and in public okay i just okay let us suppose i just create a parameterized constructor okay cop and i just write int x and int y so this will initialize the value as a equal to x and b equal to y now for example okay so let us suppose our class ends here okay so if i just create a main so if i just create a main and inside main if i just want to create okay an object so i'll just write cop co if i assign this as okay the values 100 comma 300 are passed okay so what it will do it will just okay try to call the this these arguments actual arguments will be just copied into these formal arguments and the value will be assigned okay x value will be assigned to a and y will be assigned to b and in this way we can print the values of a and b okay but what if again i just create a constructor okay i just create let us suppose an object cop c1 and if i just write is equal to c okay so what i am doing i am just assigning okay i am just 
okay initializing okay, you can see i'm just initializing the value of co to c1 okay so in the internal way okay the values that is 100 and 300 will be assigned to the object okay that is c1 so if i say that which constructor will be called then most of you will be thinking that this constructor cop will be called because most of you will be thinking that this particular okay 100 and 300 okay this contains two arguments and this co that contains two arguments will be provided to c1 and as a result of which this constructor will be called but this is not the case okay this is not the case because now what we are doing we are okay we are just providing okay the initializing one object to another okay or we can also write this as you can also write this as cop c1 okay and inside bracket we can write as c so both of both these means the same it means we are just passing as an argument okay co okay inside this c1 object okay so now if i just create a function so for example if i just create a function i just want okay to show this value i just create void let us suppose display okay and i want to show the value of a and b in the screen so if i write b e and b okay and i just close this function and if i want okay if i want that co dot display and c1 dot display both these values must be seen on the screen then what will be the output according to you so most of you will be thinking that it will result in an error because for this particular thing okay for this particular statement we haven't created any syntax okay we haven't created any okay function okay that will take as an argument this type of object or object reference you can say okay because what we are doing we are passing an object inside okay another object it is looking like this that we are passing an object inside another object of the same that belongs to the same type okay so now what we'll do if i will just try to compile this code okay so this code will be compiled successfully and the output will be okay shown to the screen that is the output will be 100 300 and 100 300 okay so 100 and 300 and 100 and 300 will be printed so first 100 300 will be for this co okay that is the parameterized constructor will be called and second 100 300 will be for this c1 that is the copy constructor will be invoked so now the implicit okay implicit invoking of the copy constructor will be take place it means that we haven't write we haven't written any code manually okay for the copy constructor to be okay to be implemented or you can say so that the value must be printed with the help of that manual code okay in spite of this compiler is creating the code in background okay that is an implicit copy constructor is calling okay so here the output will be in this way but what if i want to write the code for this copy constructor okay so if i don't want that compiler must execute its copy constructor in spite of this user explicitly wants to invoke the copy constructor so what he will do okay he will write its own code so what he will do so if you just okay if you just see this particular okay statement so what it's doing it's just taking an argument okay it's just taking an argument an object of type cop okay so if it will take an argument of type co then obviously it will also return okay certain value okay to this particular constructor to this particular object that is of type cop so the syntax okay for copy constructor will be the class name okay it will be the class name okay and inside this because it is a constructor so the name of the class must be same okay so the return type must be a class name and inside this what we will do we will just write okay so it will be this co is of type class okay because it is an object 
okay it is an object it is an object of an abstract data type that is a class so inside this what i will write i will write class name again okay and we'll just okay create a reference to an object so we'll just create any object okay and we'll just create we'll pass a reference to this object okay so c++ okay says that if you want to create a copy constructor then you can't create an object inside in spite of creating an object create its reference okay so we'll just create a, a reference so this reference is simply an alias okay given to an object you can say so compiler don't allow in copy constructor okay the parameters to be passed by value okay so compiler will just use the call by reference okay in the copy constructor okay so if this m percent was not there okay if i just omit this m percent and if it if i try to compile the program then it will result in an error that you have to create a reference to this particular object okay otherwise what will happen okay a recursion will be created okay because this object will be okay passed and it will be taken okay the value will be passed to this okay so again what will happen again an object will be created again a copy constructor will be created so what will happen copy constructor will be created a number of times and a recursion will be there okay so as a result of this memory wastage will be there and in c++ okay this is not allowed so compiler a restriction has been made that whenever you are creating a copy constructor then you must okay you must pass the you can say parameters as passed by reference not passed by value so in this way it has to be m percent okay now if i want to access the object so what i'll do i'll just write okay a equal to so how you will how you will assign the value with the help of an object okay so how will i assign i'll just assign ob dot a okay so now this ob dot a will be assigned to a okay and ob dot b will be assigned to this because copy constructor is used to assign okay to initialize the the you can say object okay so the values will also be assigned so how the values will be assigned with the help of the object and how we can assign with the help of an object with the help of object name and dot operator okay so ob dot a because a copy is created in a way so that this ob dot a belongs to a different memory location and this a is belonging to a different memory location okay so from one memory location the contents are being copied to different memory location okay so in this way you can say the data is being copied okay so if this is ob1 okay and this is you can say ob2 okay so in our case what is this you can say this is co and this is c1 so this is for example a okay this is b and exactly here the replica is being created a and b so this a will be okay copied to this the value of b will be copied to this okay so with the help of the alias of this particular cu the reference of this particular cu and the reference is what is the reference we have created ob as a reference so ob dot a so ob dot a will be okay you can say ob dot a will be copied to this a and ob dot b okay so for this b the reference is ob and with the help of this reference how i will just copy the value ob dot b will be copied to this b. so in this way it will work so i hope now it is clear to you okay so two types of constructors are created implicitly by the compiler one is default and the second is copy constructor if i okay so if I don't want to create any code for the copy constructor in our program, then the compiler will automatically create it implicitly. But if I want that manually I should write the code for the copy constructor, then I have to write in this way. That is the class name followed by, okay, class name ampersand ob and this, okay. So it will be like cop, okay, followed by cop ampersand, okay, any name of the object, for example, c, this is the reference we have created. 
so a is equal to c dot a and b equal to c dot b so this is the code that we have created explicitly okay explicit copy constructor this is we have created okay so i hope it is clear so now we will just see the practical implementation in the subsequent lectures thanks